Hey Diamond, so in this video, I'm going to show you all how I make my channel art for my YouTube channel. First, you want to go to Google and type in YouTube channel art template. And then you just click on the second link and then scroll down to image size and file guidelines and then when you scroll down the channel art template is sitting right there we're going to be using the dimensions of 2560 by 1440 which is the dimensions of the YouTube channel art it already sets the uh, dimensions correctly so all you have to do is find YouTube channel art and as you can see it has the dimensions perfectly so we're gonna click on that and we're going to upload our YouTube channel art I really like canva because it has a lot of templates already there for you if you don't want anything complex or you want something quick to put up on your channel but today we're going to use our own custom design so we're going to go ahead and upload that template that we found on YouTube and then we're going to size it to fit the dimensions of Canva so basically the part that we're going to be working with is the dark gray area this is going to fit perfectly for your um, channel art if you're displaying it on a computer a tablet or your phone um, setting up guidelines so I know where to focus um, my work So this dark gray area is what we're going to work with for our YouTube channel art. So what you want to do is click on it and then delete it. And make sure that you change the background of um, the paper, whatever color you want it to be. Um, so I want my background to be pink, so I'm changing the side panels to yellow so I won't be confused. So this pink area is what everyone will see for my channel art. Canva has letters that you can add pictures inside. So basically all you have to do is click on the letters and then resize them to fit inside of your channel uh, your channel art there's a circle on each corner where you can resize the letters. Mm -hmm. 
another thing I love about Canva is when you resize them you can see the width and the height of each picture or a letter so I'm just matching the height with um, each letter So as you can see, some of my letters are too big, so I'm just resizing them so every single letter will fit in my channel art. Also, if you need help creating your channel art, I do create channel art designs for serious inquiries only. So if you're interested and want me to create your channel art for you, just inbox me on Instagram or on here and we can discuss pricing and I'll help you create your channel art. So right here, I'm just putting the letters in the center of my channel art. So now, before you can put your pictures in the letters, you want to make sure that you upload all of the pictures that you want to use. Canva even has free pictures that they allow you to use. But yeah, you can choose from their pictures or you can upload your own. So right here, I'm just cropping. You really don't have to crop because Canva automatically does it, but if you want a certain picture, part of the picture to show up, this is how you would do it. So then I'm going to be using some of my pictures, just hovering over the letters. You can see that it fits perfectly within the letters. And when you're creating your channel art, you want to make sure that the channel art relates to what type of videos you upload. Um, for this example, I was just putting different pictures because, you know, for the sake of the video. But um, if you go on my uh, YouTube channel, you can see that a lot of my pictures that I use were beauty, business, and lifestyle related, and that correlates with my YouTube channel. So now I'm just adding a little bit of extra designs and as you can see, you can change the colors of these shapes as well, the lines, shapes, you can sh change all those colors. Canva gives you a lot of, you know, creative freedom 
creative freedom to design, you know, whatever you want the way you want it. And you can use, you can move shapes backwards and forwards. All you have to do is hit the position button at the top right. And as you can see, it's really simple. Right now, I'm going to go to position and move these backwards. And now, you also want to let new viewers who aren't subscribed to your channel you want to let them know what your channel is about they should be able to tell what your channel is about just by looking at your channel art so mine is beauty business and lifestyle So I was just testing out um, different fonts. I'm not sure why the font disappeared, but I'm just going to repeat the whole process over again of adding that font, um, my subject for my channel art. So again, beauty, business, and lifestyle. Then I'm going to put that at the bottom. And then another thing that you want to do is let your viewers know when you upload if you don't know specific days just go ahead and put new videos every week As you can see then I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and move it to the top change the font and put new videos every week And I love how Canva gives you guidelines that you can follow when you're moving objects on, you know, your workspace. They'll tell you when something's centered, when it's off a little bit, when it matches. Like, I love how Canva has that. So right now, I'm just doing a little bit of last minute touches to my channel art to make sure everything is lined up correctly.
So I'm going to copy that and it's going to duplicate it and I just slide it to the other side of my channel art. Very, very simple, very user friendly. That is why I love using Canva for flyers, Instagram posts, Facebook posts. They have everything and it's completely free so you don't have to pay for using Canva. And yeah, this is how I created my channel art. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any video suggestions, please leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll talk to your loves later. Bye.